guys um pretty much i've managed to get the camera to work i'm not sure if the video is going to come out good or what or crap or whatever um but a buddy of mine keith on facebook wants to know my streaming setup and how i've got it set up basically so um without any further to do here we go um as you can see keith like i said you you asked me so here it is um this pc here that you're seeing with these two monitors this monitor isn't plugged in or anything just yet um i'm having issues with this monitor i may have to uh, junk it and uh, uh snag one of these monitors from that pc but anyway this is the gaming pc yes uh, that's the webcam yes it's on because i've got x split up this is the gaming pc this is a amd setup that's all water cooled this is the big d project so here so you can see some some horn right there that's the radiators down there um pr pretty much the webcam and the cardio mic are plugged into this pc let me get rid of that i plugged into this pc um so these two are not on this pc the headset microphone is the only microphone hooked up to this pc okay and that's what i use with team speak and that's what you guys in uh, 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 in in the chat and in Twitch chat, as you can see, yes, this is my Twitch chat. I'm still here, guys. I'm like I said, I'm always here. Okay, I'm always here, and um, so uh, I have an HDMI splitter cable. In fact, I have a spare one right here. This is how I get my HDMI signal uh, from the gaming PC to the encoding PC. I'm at to explain. This takes a single uh, HDMI out and to, to two outputs okay first output goes to my capture card the second output goes to this monitor so literally it's a one-to-one -one on the compression it's a one-to-one -one. so as you can see over here hi as you can see over here i have my skype and a few other things up better close that because there's some private conversations going on there with me and uh, david um, but as you can see, um, this is the webcam. Um, that's the webcam software. This is my bot software. This is why when people try to post like a, and his name is John Cena, I don't hear it because it goes off of this PC, not my gaming PC, therefore not my headset. So you control me all you want. It's not gonna hurt me. Of course, this is my green screen. So, you know, but most importantly, this is the software I use. I use, see, I, I use uh, XSplit. Uh, this is a paid license. I pay for this. In fact, I've got to renew it here soon. Um, this is a paid license. Uh, this is my encoding PC. This is an Intel first generation i7 1366 socket. It's a way, way, way old CPU uh, with uh, 12 gigs of RAM and a GTX 660 graphics card that's about to die. Literally, I've been getting driver crash after driver crash after driver crash after driver crash after driver crash. After driver crash. Pisses me off because when I have to reboot this PC, it takes about 40 minutes for the constant driver crashes to end before I can actually do anything graphics-wise with the graphics card. That's how I know the graphics card's going out. It's not software, it's hardware because I swapped it out for my friend's 960 uh, and it worked just fine put the 660 back in literally first reboot crash 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 so that's how i know it's the graphics card okay it's not the motherboard it's not anything else it's just the graphics card the graphics card is old it's dying it's time to go it's time to kick the bucket basically for that so what i do is i have a capture card unfortunately i used to have the box for that capture card but i don't have it anymore it is a capture card I bought off of eBay. Um, I'll put the link in the video description for the capture card for you there, Keith. Um, I got it for like, I think it was like 50 bucks, real cheap. Um, let me take a quick look here and I'll, I'll even flip this around. Again, I'm not even gonna edit this video, I'm just gonna leave it up. I put in HDMI cap. See, HDMI capture card. That's what I put in. And there it is right there. It's 38 bucks from China. From one Hong Lo, China. Right there. 
HDMI in, HDMI out. I don't bother with the out, okay? The out is only if you're running like a, an Xbox 360, where you take it from here, put it in here, and add to the monitor. Downside is there's a little bit of delay doing that. So I don't bother with the HDMI, I don't bother with the HDMI out. So um, literally the back of the, the out on the card, does, don't, I don't do it. Now, yeah, see this is the exact one I got and it's 30 something bucks. This is the one I, I grabbed and it's free shipping from China. So what could, what'd you expect? Um, this is why constantly I get syncing issues, stuff like that. So I'm con and it will crash like a motherfucker. Uh, this one is another one they sell, it only has an HDMI in. So if you're using the splitter, okay, you're golden. If you're not using the splitter, do not get this card, okay? You will need to get this card. By the way, this HDMI splitter, again, you can get it on eBay. Uh, I got it for, I think it was like seven bucks. Here you go, HDMI, one in, two out. Right there, seven bucks. See, so you can get this and the, the capture card and you're golden. Okay, now bear in mind, this is designed to only capture HDMI. The reason why I went with the HDMI series is because HDMI also carries the audio signal. So I don't have to worry about you guys listening to the audio of the stream. Uh, so you guys can hear the game. I can hear the game with my headset again. Um, but at the same time, I've got independent volume control. I can turn the game down on the headset or I can turn the game down uh, via XSplit, okay, via the capture card. So I've got a lot more control there. Do you see what I'm saying? This is my setup. Um, gaming PC is a AMD uh, Vishira 8 core, 12 gigs of RAM, uh, water cooled. Uh, I, I don't know why I water cooled the CPU, I just wanted to water cool the CPU, basically because I was looking at upgrading it later on and adding a, a graphics card. The graphics card is a 750 Ti, I got it on Newegg, um, on a really cheap Newegg deal. Uh, I will post a link to uh, the Newegg here, I'll, I'll show it to you. Basically you go to Newegg, go to products, go to computer systems, no, uh, components, sorry, DIY super combos. All DIY super combos and then from here you go AMD apply I do like the new their new system AMD apply uh, and we go AMD 3 plus not FM2 FM2 is junk it's out of date now you want to go AM3 plus go AMD 3 plus and right there Vishira that's my that's my system right there but they, they've upgraded the graphics card to a whole bunch. See, so it's about 500 bucks. Uh, at the time, okay, here you go, here you go. That's the four, uh, that's the uh, Vishira quad core with an R7 360 and only one hard drive. I got an SSD. See, here it is. I believe this is one of the deals I got. But they changed, they've changed the graphics card and they've changed a few things around. Uh, let's see, it's a, yeah, GTX 950, two gigabyte card. One terabyte hard drive, Mushkin uh, SSD, um, eight gigs of RAM. But you see, what I'm saying it's under 500. So, like I said, go to Newegg. Newegg sh ship worldwide, as far as I know, they ship worldwide. Um, or you can go, go to Amazon, see what they got for deals. But like I said, they've even got VR ready deals, uh, like this one with a 970. That's under a thousand bucks. Um, so let's see, it's an eight core Vishira Black Edition. So unlock multipliers yay eight gigs of ram you want to bump that up to about 12. um when you come to streaming i don't do anything less than 12 gigs uh 974 gigabyte card nice nice little tower 650 power supply you want to junk that probably get oh uh, it's 80 plus bronze so yeah it's a keeper a day uh, ssd that's a keeper and a western digital blue nice good that's a good deal deal there it's a nice little deal so um yeah, but you want to buy a little an extra RAM module, um, which you can always just grab the RAM module from the deal, um, and uh, bring it up separately and buy another one and, and have them added to the deal. So you bumped up this that that would be bumping up to 16 gigs, which means it would be perfect for you. Um, but like I said, I use XSplit over OBS, um, and so yeah, that's pretty much my deal. Uh, the, the the encoding PC, 
does all the grunt. Um, I'm on a uh, I'm on a fiber optic line. Uh, I've got five separate uh, individual uh, 100 by 100 connections. So I've got a 500 by 500. I've taken all five connections and merged them into one. Um, so and and it's technically five individual IPs. So when someone says, "Oh, is this your IP?" I'm like, "That's one of them." Yeah. Well, what do you mean? That's one of them. Yeah, I've just changed it. You know, um, which is why I'm really hard. I find it really hard to find a decent VPN um, to uh, uh, um, to uh, mask myself. Which is why when I do a Skype call with someone important like uh, David from Dust David Games or my handler at Twitch, uh, Chris, I tend to hide my Skype behind a VPN, um, and I link it to just one connection. So if you even if you find one out of the five connections and you you DDoS that one connection, I'm still staying online. See what I'm saying? Uh, but you don't have to go to that level of extremes, guys. I went to that level of extremes because I want to entertain. Um, again, uh, this is how, you, uh, how I do a two PC system. You can also get an, an external audio mixer. Um, I don't have that. I use a software audio mixer. I use uh, um, VB Audio or V-Band Audio uh, voice mixer. It's a nice one. It's a standard two hardware input, so I can put uh, individual microphones in there if I want to. For example, I can grab my microphone here, and right now it's muted, so I can unmute it. So I can do various other things and just slide it up. And see now, see, I'm tapping on it, and you're you're hearing it. See, not that I want to do that though. And that would be my dog. Wait, anyway, I want to mute that. But like I said, it's a software mixer, but it does basically the same thing as a hardware mixer. It just I didn't want to pay out the two hundred dollars for an external mixer and adapters and stuff i am going to be getting a two-in-one uh, microphone adapter basically what it does it takes you a single usb connect connection so i can basically have this microphone on the encoding pc and on the team speak so then that way i can just concentrate on getting just like a decent audio headset from like sennheiser or something like that and um that way uh, people are, oh, what headset are you using? The headset I'm using when I live stream is a Cobra, uh, eBlue Cobra 707s. Um, these are about 30, 40 bucks on uh, eBay. Um, you can get them in, from US sellers, Chinese sellers. You can get them all around, around the world. They have a USB uh, audio op amp built into them, um, but you can't use the USB alone. You have to still use the microphone and headphone jack. Um, standard 3.5 jack um, but the USB powers on the lights and the audio op amp inside um, the audio op amp is pre-configured you can't configure it or anything else uh, it doesn't even get BIOS updates or anything which is a bit of a shame but it is a good headset uh, one of the things I like about this headset is you can take the headset cups off uh, here I'll do one real quick for you you can actually take the headset cups off and wash them so if you've got really sweaty, stinky ears or, or you've loaned these to a friend, um, you can just pull the, the, the cups off from it. Or, or you can even buy the cups separately as well. So um, I always have, I have an extra spare set of cups uh, that I have in my gaming case over there. So that when I go to a LAN event and someone wants to use my PC, I don't have to worry about their sweaty ears and shit. So, but like I said, it's a really good headset doesn't pinch my head doesn't squeeze makes me look like a cyberman which is pretty cool as well um but yeah that's pretty much my build um my my gaming pc amd um i really don't need the horsepower like that uh my encoding machine is intel uh simply because intel handles data better than amd i'm sorry it's just my personal belief um so yeah that's pretty much it um and is xsplit as you can see over here i know wow inception so like i said so when someone tries to want to troll me with um, you know rick ashley or whatever i don't hear and that's nothing i don't even hear the music that you guys pick i don't i don't hear it because they come through my speakers so i just turn the speakers down so as long as you guys are enjoying the music i don't care and if i really need to listen to the music if someone says oh someone's playing a troll song i just turn the the audio on from the stream and that's the case i come over here skip the song and kick the person to say, or one of my mods will kick them.
that's how it works. Um, the only advice I can give to new streamers is stick with it. You may get disheartened. You may be stream. You know, you, you start your stream. You look. Ignore the view count. Okay, Keith. Ignore the view count. That's all I can say. Numbers aren't everything. Have fun, no matter what. Um, if you're having fun, then people watching you are going to have fun. Um, I know I rage a lot in Heroes and Generals, but that's passion. Because I know people who I'm squatted with can do better. You know, I've seen them do better. I know I can do better. You know? So, uh, stream games that you have fun with. Whether it's just trolling people. I mean, you've seen me some streams, Keith, where I'm just trolling enemy tankers. You know, and I'm laughing my ass off to the point where I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> like I said, okay, have fun. Uh, don't invest too much into it. I know a lot, but you don't have to go with two PCs. I went with two PCs because I've decided to make Twitch my full-time job. Uh, I've, I've decided to make entertaining you people, you, my followers, my job. It allows me to stay home to take care of my wife who's disabled. It allows me to stay home and take care of my daughter, you know, and, and, and take care of the house, my aunt, you know, the home, everything else. And at the same time, it allows me to be entertaining and helpful to you guys. Uh, so again, this video is mostly aimed at my buddy Keith, but if this video did help you, please give it a thumbs up. It lets me know that you guys like these sort of videos. Um, but most importantly, uh, gaming PC, um, it, it, it is just that. It's low to mid-range. There's nothing uber special about it. Yes, when the 1080s finally get released and I've got some money, I'll be buying a 1080, maybe two, and slapping them in the gaming machine. Why? Because I can. Because I see... And that's another thing. If you plan on just doing Twitch as a hobby, you know, like every, once a weekend or whatever, or you're playing a game and you just want to use OBS to record your gameplay and put it on YouTube, go ahead, do it that way as a start. Because um, when it comes down to it, a lot of people who watch you will say, do you have a YouTube channel? And then you're stuck. At that point, you are stuck. Whether you say, uh, yes, I do, and here it is, and you've only got like two videos, and one of them is Dave the Stormtrooper humping, you know, to, to, to freaking Gangnam Style, what well, bomb Gangnam Style, you know what I mean? And the other one is you doing a, a video vlog of talk, complaining about douchebags doing something, you know? That's going to make that person think, well, wait a minute, he's on Twitch more than he is on YouTube. So they're not going to sub to your YouTube. Do you see what I'm saying? You're going to you're gonna be at the point where you're going to have to decide what do I devote my time to? Gaming and putting the videos on YouTube or gaming and live streaming it on Twitch with YouTube being something that's on the back burner. I like to burn the candle at both ends. As you can see, that's why I'm doing this YouTube video. Duh. But... Um, yeah, pretty much. That's much it. And I'm almost at 20 minutes, so I'm going to try to keep this video under 20 minutes. So, quick tips. Um, don't pay attention to the view counter, okay? Just don't. Don't bother. Um, only add friends you trust as moderators, because if you get the wrong person as a moderator, it just, in it just invites a whole world of hurt, okay? Have fun. You don't necessarily need a webcam, okay? If you do get a webcam... Get that one, it's Logitech C920. It's typically what every streamer has because it's 1080 at, uh, at 30 frames per second. It's 720 at 60 frames per second. It is just glorious. I love that bloody webcam. It can be a little bit finicky and a little bit touchy at times, but what do you expect? Um, I bought it used because you can't get them brand new practically anymore. But uh, you don't need multiple monitor setups, but it does help. The uh, reason why is you can have one monitor for the game, the other one for the for reading chat, so you can respond. And that's another thing. Respond to your view, to, to your viewers. If they ask you a question, say, hey, what game is this? You say, oh, this is Heroes and Generals, or, oh, this is Company of Heroes, or this is World of Tanks, or, or you know. It showed they're like, oh, shit, he actually, you know, he, he responds, you know. Wow. You know what I mean? And, and 
what I use for my encoding settings and everything else is something completely different. But anyway, guys, video at the 20 minute mark, the video just decided to cut out. Anyway, if you greatly appreciate this video, I do greatly appreciate every question I get asked. I'm on Twitter, twitter.com slash deceptive covers. I'm on Instagram, Instagram, Danny Monahan. Um, I just a whole bunch of social media links down below in the video description. Go check them out. Uh, till then guys, uh, peace the fuck out and I will see you all um, pretty much in a few hours on Twitch. I'm going to probably go to bed here if I can eat something soon and get up bright eyed and bushy tailed and hopefully Ritu's got their servers up so I can stream some Heroes and Generals. If not, I will be streaming some War Thunder. So until then guys, take care and uh, I'll see you uh, pretty much later. Bye. 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 Bye.